Right, part two of my remote driving test skill game from the 19, I think, 50s, 60s, something like that. So I stayed up half the night taping it up because I realised how bad the cardboard was. I think the previous owner had left it in a loft or somewhere where it was getting damp and all the box was out of shape and it was falling to pieces basically. The staples were rusty so that was sort of a sign it probably got damp at some point. So if you can see I've got tape everywhere. Not easy to see in the videos but I've taped all the edges as you can see there because they were absolutely falling apart. So the box is falling apart and if you look underneath I can think I can tip it upside down without falling apart. As you can see I've had to tape underneath that's where the mechanism is, so it would have fallen apart if I hadn't have done that. And the box is pretty decrepit and ruined. Right, so, if I hand over to my lovely daughter Josie, who is the oldest one of my twins. Spin it round! Spin it round! That's it. Well done. Right, so film this. So, if we take the box off, I've even taped the sides because I don't want it to fall apart as I lift the lid up. So as you see, it's coming up a bit better actually because it's sliding on it. So look, I've even put in protection because what I realised was when they put the bag in, you're getting this all on the video, darling. Yeah. When you put the bag in, this came through the top, didn't it, Joe? Mm -hmm. And it made a hole in the box <laughs> when they sent it through the post. So I've protected it now, so that will never happen. So basically, my my tip is Gino Janelli's food packs from Iceland. I don't know why, it just it colour coded to the box because there's a Mexican one as well that worked. Anyway, there's all the parts and there's the box all taped up now and strong. And I've even taped the instructions so we never lose them. Look, I've made them nice and shiny so they can't wear out now. So we can always read them. All right, now with the box, not only did I tape the outside, I'll take over. I taped all the way inside all the folds on the corners and I've reinforced it basically so now the box is square it was completely bowed and out of shape before but I've also padded the edges because when we were using the gear stick it was wobbling all over the place wasn't it Joe? Mm -hmm. it was wobbling all over the place and moving so it made it hard to steer the cars so if you want to be mum and uh, open the pack, and there's Gino smiling at us. <laughs> I thought I'd put him in there for a laugh. <clears throat> so, the problem I had before was the side wasn't level. So, when we moved the joystick, the mechanism was obviously going underneath, but it was getting trapped for some reason. The mechanism couldn't move properly because the, it looks like the gear stick was sitting too low. But now I've straightened the box out, it's basically straightened everything out. I was going to pad it underneath, but it doesn't look like I've needed to, because it's actually working really, really smooth now. And I thought I'd be clever and put it in a place where I'd find it straight away, but that's easily said than done, because it moves when you put the box in the cupboard. Oh my god, I did it first time. You saw that, and if Johnny, if you're watching, can I please have a kudos for picking up the car straight away? <laughs> That was quite impressive, wasn't it? First time. <laughs> <laughs> so I will now show off my skills. So look, I can go all the way round now, hopefully, round the track, without having any issues at all now. Here you go. And I recommend anyone buying this on eBay. If you can get it, I think there was another one going for about £50. But it was probably a lot better condition than my one. But I, I was impressed. Oh, because this one had all the pieces. Now you can still see it's still moving a little bit, the cardboard, which I might pack it out with some proper red plastic strips if I can, because you see there's gaps there. But that's what over time, obviously, the box has distorted. Oh, look, Josie snuck in some furniture while I wasn't looking. Whee! So I'm going around the track. Look how smooth it is now, Josie. Impressed? Mm -hmm. So look, and now I'm going to try and park in the garage. I'm trying to show off. There you go, sort of halfway <laughs> with a bit of a drift. So this is just to show everyone how cool this game is. So it's a remote control driving test, test of skill, and it's made by Merit. I think it was made by a few other people in the 50s and the 60s. But it's a really cool game, and Josie loves it. Now, to be honest with you, I tried to get my girls interested in the PlayStation 2s and all the old games. 
They're not interested. Josie actually loves this. She's actually asked me to come and play with it with her today. So um, again, kudos to Johnny for showing me this game at 12 o'clock at night when I saw your post because I went straight on eBay and I was just lucky to win it. And I've got it now and we're loving every minute of it and we're going to enjoy it during lockdown. So thank you, Johnny, my key worker during lockdown. Thanks, mate. We will carry on playing this now. Say bye-bye, Joe. Bye-bye.